If I look like a villain or a troll, it's because I'm not wearing any makeup right now. So I decided I would do the makeup book tag. Probably this is gonna be a half hour video because I take forever to put on makeup, let alone while talking and doing it. If you haven't heard of the makeup book tag, I'm just gonna do my makeup and then talk to you about books while I'm here. I know that I was tagged by several people, but the video I'm looking at right now is Sarah's. Go watch Sarah's video, go subscribe to Sarah. She's literally my favorite person on this earth. I'm just gonna start doing makeup now because this is gonna be a long video. Okay, question one is primer. I don't wear primer because I ran out and I had a sample that I was squeezing and making do for like two years and it finally just went went kaput. I'm just gonna do some lotion instead. This is not called lotion. Moisturizer instead of my primer. While I answer that question, pick a book that left a lasting impression. I just recently read Golden Boy by Abigail Tartellin. Probably a book I'm gonna be thinking about for a long time. The book that I probably would have said before I read that was The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan or This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle. Those are both books that like haunt me to this day. Question two, foundation. Pick your favorite first book in a series. The reason why I don't do tags is because they ask questions like this and I only have like three books in my well of memory to choose from. All I can think about right now is Shatter Me, Akatar. But the thing is, I think Shatter Me is genuinely like a three star book. It's not the best book in the series. So I'm gonna have to think of a book that's the first book in the series. Does anyone actually enjoy the first book of the series the most? Like, are there people that enjoy first books in series more than they enjoy the next two or three or five or whatever? You know what? I have an answer for this. I'm gonna say Cinder by Marissa Meyer because I adore Cinder and I adore Prince Kai, but every time I would add a new character, I would be like, I don't want this, I just want a story about Cinder. Also, I just got this new foundation and I used to be like, oh, it looks so good, but now I think it's too dark. I don't know, maybe my neck is just paler than my actual body. Number three, concealer. Pick a character you wish you could get rid of. Snape, Adam Kent, um, Will Harrendell, Manon and Elide from the Throne of Glass series. I feel like I probably should have told you the products that I'm using, so I will leave a huge list down below of everything on my face and the things I'm using to put the things on my face. Which I'll probably hate myself later when I'm editing this, having to do work for myself, because god forbid I put a list of things in the description. Number four, powder. Pick your favorite last book in a series. I love... No, I was gonna say Mockingjay, but like I think I like Catching Fire more. Ignite Me was pretty good. Akatar 3 isn't out yet, but that's gonna be pretty good. Okay, question. Is Akatar 3 the last book in the series, or is there gonna be a spin-off, or are the new books a continuation? I'm very confused. I am very Confucian. This is just a question about, like, have I even finished any series? Also, am I weird for putting on powder with a beauty blender? I don't know. It just works good. Why not? Oh, I didn't put any foundation on my upper lip. It's not gonna be blended. Good enough. Eyebrows. Who does their eyebrows right after their powder? I guess I'm doing my routine out of order today. Do y'all not contour right after? Well, I'll just stick to this, whatever y'all say. The question for eyebrows is pick a book that you think everyone should read. Oh lord. Trying not to only talk about Shatter Me in this video, but I'm trying to like not be tilted like this, so it's kind of hard. Why do, how do I make a- ooh, <laughs> regret. How do makeup people do this? When I do makeup videos, I'm just like, yeah, and then you do this, and then you do that, and then you're done, and that's all. I could never do this every single day. I don't even have a pencil to fill in my brows. I'm just like using finishing gel as eyebrow stuff. And I just smeared it every, it's going everywhere. I just regret, okay, hold on. <laughs> What's the question? Pick a book that you think everyone should read. I don't know, man, The Great Gatsby, Shatter Me, Throw a Glass, well, no, not Throw a Glass. I, that, I just threw that out there. Probably Twilight. Hunger Games, basically any book where someone would respond, you haven't read that? Then, like Harry Potter, maybe not Percy Jackson though, you could skip Percy Jackson. I'm gonna leave the eyebrows here because otherwise we might go crazy. It looks so jank because we're doing it out of order. Who does their eyebrows at before they do their contour? Eyeshadow, pick a book that has your favorite colors on the cover. Oh, pfft. who, th see these are the types of questions that I'm just like, who cares? <laughs> My favorite color is white. That's like half racist and half boring. Actually, I have an answer for this because it's kind of relevant. We just read a book called Disgrace for my class. And I had a movie cover, which was horrible. 
but the actual cover for it that I'm gonna buy after I'm done with the class is like plain white with just the word disgrace on it which I think is pretty awesome. I haven't even started my actual eyeshadow I'm already done with the question. I feel like I probably should mention I'm using the chocolate bar palette. I'm not a huge fan of eyeshadow like I used to never wear eyeshadow but I wear this every single day now. She's good. If you guys have any recommendations for makeup palettes that are like neutral like browns like this one, they don't necessarily have to smell delicious like chocolate like this one does. I mean no, I'm always into those brown neutral shimmery matte whatever palettes. Oh I got the wrong color. What do I do? Okay. See if you guys haven't already left this video like getting ready with Whitney would not be a fun time. Okay eyeshadow finished. What's next? Eyeliner? I have to put eyeliner on? I usually don't do eyeliner, but I guess I'll suffer today. Pick a dark and mysterious book. Ooh. I hate this so much. I'm not even gonna try and do the flicky flick. I'm just gonna do whatever I can. The question, pick a dark and mysterious book. First thing that comes to mind is Wink Pop- I can't talk while I do this. I hate this. Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tuchulki. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. How are there people on this earth that do this daily? I avoid this with a passion. I also, like, I bought this because, like, Tahara uses this eyeliner and everyone thinks it's amazing, but I don't get the hype. It's, like, not very pigmented. You have to draw a line, like, four times just for it to be, like, opaque black. Dark and mysterious books. I've never read The Diviners, but I feel like I want to say The Diviners. If you liked We Were Liars, then you'll like Wink Poppy Midnight. It's like We Were Liars and Rainbow Rowell had a kid and it was Wink Poppy Midnight. And there we go. Good enough. Next is mascara. Good. Pick a long book. <laughs> I actually do two coats of mascara so I'll give you two long books. The first one being one that I still have to think of. I think like the biggest book I've read is City of Heavenly Fire and it's been so long I don't even remember what happens in that book. I also loved Breaking Dawn. I haven't reread it in years but that I literally used to reread Twilight or Breaking Dawn like every night before bed because it like was so much fun for me. I like memorized passages of it because I would reread Bella's part. I mean I used to think that books that were like 500 pages are super big but now that's kind of common now that I'm getting into fantasy. I think the biggest book I own is The Miserable but I haven't read that and I don't think I'm gonna read that for a very long time. That's layer one. I think you're supposed to wait for it to dry before you do layer two, but I really don't care. A long book. What other long books do I have? Lady Midnight? I don't know. I was saying like, I hate books with sex on the beach. Please spoil me if you know of any books that do that because I don't want to read it. Like that's not cute to me and it makes me angry. And everyone was like, Lady Midnight. So I'm literally debating on hauling Lady Midnight just because of beach sex that I despise. Also, why is Cassandra Clare obsessed with that? It wasn't cute in City of Heavenly Fire. It's still not cute. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm just out of focus for this entire video. There's not a question for using a Q-tip to wipe the excess mascara off your face, so I'm just gonna do that quickly and not linger. Okay, but the next question is finally blush. Also, who does blush before contour? This video is whack. Pick a book that had some crazy worthy romance. This is everything for me. I can give you a whole video about cringeworthy romance. Basically anything by Colleen Hoover. That's actually all that's coming to mind is just Colleen Hoover. Almost any new adult book. I just read J.R. Ward, like the vampire porn series. That was pretty bad. I feel like a lot of books I pretend to secretly hate. Oh, I'm doing... Okay. No, don't start my contour yet. Wait. There is no bronzer question? This is whack. I'm doing this this question then. This is the most important step. What are they thinking? So yeah, basically any Colleen Hoover I just think is not cute. And I would also like to lump Colleen Hoover with like basically any new adult author. It's all pretty bad. Like I rarely find new adult books that have believable and fun romances, let alone healthy romances. <laughs> also, this is why I do my contour before my eyebrow because I gotta blend it up around here and I don't wanna be rubbing my eyebrow off. I just almost destroyed my mascara doing that. I told you. Highlighter, fun fact, I don't own a highlighter. So I'm gonna answer this question without even doing it even though I could technically use like one of these. I'll try, I'll try. This might be really bad. Um, the question for highlighter is pick a book that brightened your day. I feel like I want to default this answer to like a contemporary book, but I despise YA contemporary. It's so like boring. So I can't think of one off the top of my- what? let me scroll through Goodreads. This is why I should have been doing this entire video. 
I don't know if I like that. Oh, I just tasted chocolate. <laughs> I've been reading some really dark books lately. I'm scrolling back all the way through July and there's like nothing. Like I can't even say Akamath because that like hurt me. I'm not trying to convince you to do anything stupid, but this eyeshadow that I'm using as highlighter tastes like chocolate. Also, I don't know of the last book that brightened my day because all I read is sad books, apparently. I think I only have one more question. Yep, lipstick. What is your favorite book kiss? I mean, I'm gonna just state the total obvious answer. Chapter 62? Zah. Also, I don't know whether I want nude lip or dark lip. Hey, Kaylin. What? Should I do nude lip or dark lip? Dark lip. L.A.X, baby. I don't want to, but like, it's not cold. It's just like cool outside. Yeah, I do like Avenue. Should I do Tool or Avenue? Tool. Okay, that's what I had in my hand. We think alike. So I just got ColourPop for the first time and it's changing my life. However, I am so bad at applying liquid lipstick. This is going to be a laughing experience for all of us. Let's try. Also, I clearly can't speak while I answer this. Our answer was chapter 62 because duh. Hmm. Well, that was a mess. So this is how we're looking right now before I clean up the damages. They make it impossible. Like, I'm messing it up even more trying to fix it. Okay, I'm just gonna end it here before I get any worse. Hello, does that look good? So now I would let down Zaha. I just showered today, so she's all fresh and clean. And that is my makeup look. <laughs> I think I look good this is not how i would do my makeup every single day because usually i don't have enough time to put on lipstick so everything except the lipstick would be what i do on a daily basis if i have time to do my makeup for class this took half an hour but that's because i was talking throughout the entire thing now i'm getting really self-conscious about how bad this lipstick is thank you everyone for watching i will see you next time hope you all had a wonderful time watching i'm running out of battery i gotta go goodbye